Let's see how we can create this retro diamond sweep shader in Godot. If you already know how basic shader transitions work, then this is the video for you. But if you're new to shaders, then these two videos will help you catch up. At the end, I'll also show you how we can change our shader from this to this. The project files for this video are available through selected tiers on Patreon. And now let's get started. In my setup here, I've got a color rect and an animation player in my scene manager. The animation player controls the progress variable in my shader transitions, and our current diagonal sweep transition is made using this simple shader. This is the basics we'll build upon in this video. The first thing we need to figure out is how we can divide our transition into smaller tiles, and then apply the same transition to every tile at the same time. So we get something like this. To create the tiles, our shader needs to know how many tiles or squares we want to divide our screen into. So let's add a new uniform vec2 variable to the shader called number of tiles. I like to have the same number of tiles as my pixel art game, so my values are based on my viewport size divided by my tile size. But another solution could also be to use 16 by 9 or 16 by 10, depending on the resolution of your game. Or you can do something completely different. The fragment shader's UV coordinates can give us the position of the fragment we're currently working on. This goes from 0.0, .0 up here to the left, and 1.1 down here to the right. We can then multiply this with our new number of tiles vector. Now we have a floating point value, where the whole part here tells us which tile the current fragment is in, and then the fractional part here will tell us its position within the tile. We can use the shader's built-in fract method to get the fractional part of a floating point value. This can then be used to create a diagonal sweep like before. Only now we mapped the UV coordinates onto the tile this fragment is a part of. And thus we've created our first tile-based shader transition. If you're getting a black screen when you try to test the project, then please make sure you have the correct reset values in the animation player that controls the shader values. In the reset animation, progress should be set to 0.0, .0 and reverse should not be enabled. And now let's see how we can create the diamond transition. I'm first drawing how I want my transition to look at progress 0, 0 0.5 and 1. This makes it easier for me to figure out how to create the shader. To create this diamond in the middle here, we need to look at the Manhattan distance from the center of the tile to the fragment's position. We can find this by first creating a new vector going from the center to our fragment. And then add the absolute value of the x and y coordinates to get the Manhattan distance. This can then be compared to progress times 2 like before. If you don't want to use the absolute method twice here, then you can just apply it to the vector instead. And now we've created our diamond transition. Now let's combine both the original diagonal sweep and our new tile-based diamond transition. We're now adding four parts that each goes from zero to one. So now we also need to multiply progress with four instead of two. Now we have created our diagonal diamond sweep, but I still have one last thing to show you. The transition is really smooth and that might be just what you want. However, 
Since this example project is a pixel art game, why not change the shader a bit so the transition is also divided into pixels like this. For this we need yet another input. This time we need to specify the number of pixels each of our tiles should be divided into. We then multiply the position in tile with our new pixels in tile variable and round this. Now we've changed the coordinates into an integer between 0 and our pixels per tile. To get back to a value between 0 and 1, so we can compare with the progress again, we then also divide our new rounded variable with pixels per tile, before we take the fractional part as before. And there you have it. We now have a pixelated diagonal diamond sweep transition shader made in Godot. I hope you like this video and remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell and all that if you want to see more like this in the future. Bye!